As you can see, when to block properly. In karate class, we learn a lot of the high block. In the street, 99.9% .9 of the time, thugs, thieves, whoever, an attacker will always go to your face. So with this block in karate work, when you are in a street, in a real life, a threatening situation. So all those times when you do this block, this time, uh, this is the time that we're gonna have to change this. Let's come back on in, Kevin. All right, so if he's gonna throw a straight punch to the face, we're gonna block this way, right? The only problem is, let's get this angle. The only problem by blocking this way here and you can test it in your dojo, if someone punches to the face, uh, he's gonna go at this angle. You see how the angle, his shoulder up to your face? And if you have to block like this, it's very difficult because now you're gonna end up muscling uh, your shoulder to get it up. So that's why I have seen so many times in a dojo that a student would actually punch up here to your forehead, therefore making the other person easier to block. Now, it looks nice in a dojo, but it's not realistic, right? Because what we just saw in the beginning was he was coming at me really fast. And when he's coming at you really fast, you obviously cannot block it in time, right? Because now uh, you, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna work on your stance and then you're gonna move your, your, your stance in a correct way, it's gonna, it's gonna be very difficult, right? So here goes the actual uh, real block when someone punches through your face, it's more of this position, right? It's more of inside block, not this block. The only way that you can block like that is I had to go low. But face it, how do you know that he's gonna block your face for you to go low like that? Even though I just said, yeah, 99.9% .9 of the time, uh, he, people are gonna punch you to your face. But if I'm gonna go low, now he's gonna kick to my groin, right? And, uh, and then you have technically no groin left, right? So actually, in a kata, we do high block, chest block, low block, right? And then we do the inside block, right? And outside block, just like in the, in the hanchi in a real combat situation there's only uh seven blocks oh i'm sorry there's, in a real combat situation there's only eight blocks okay this is uh this is the first one you get outside block outside block okay you get inside block inside block all right you get downward block downward block and then you get circle block right and then you get wing block okay and then uh, when it comes to fast, you, you get double block, double block. And you get double high block or you get double low block. Those are the two, uh, the, using your two hands. Okay, I'm gonna show with Kevin. So when someone punches you, he's going to your face, right? You, again, you don't have time for that kind of block. So you do the, these block. This is called inside block, inside block, right? So if you punch the other hand, so let's say if someone comes to this here, we do outside block, see, outside block. So if he comes to me and my hand's in here, see, I can choose inside block or he come, I can choose inside block. See, inside block can happen with any hand. It doesn't matter. It's only how you react, right? And then he points that hand and then we go outside block, okay? So inside block, outside block, right? So what happens if he goes to your chest, right? So we do, in, in, in your kata, you do a lot of chest block, but let's, let's face it, let's be realistic again. Most of the time, uh, your opponent is your height. And you let me know in the comment below how you feel when your teacher's telling you to do a chest block, right? Because it feels as though when he's coming this way here and you're doing a chest block, you kind of muscle it. And so you're hoping that your, 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 your opponent or someone who you practice with probably punch out here so you can block e easier. Otherwise, if he blocks his here, and if he does it for real, this guy is pretty strong, and then you're gonna be restricted and you're gonna muscle it, right? So you, we don't do that block. If he goes here, we go down block. Much easier, right? He punches down block, all right? So I'm gonna link in some uh, videos of uh, UFC fighting, street fighting. You'll see people, when they punch over here, we do this block. So if you punch over the other hand, down here we do this, this block, right? Just over the top, over the top, right? So now that's three. One, two, right? Outside, inside, down, okay? Now if somebody punches low here, like the hook, right? Like you hook up, yeah, if you hook up, right? You do the, cir the low circle block. He hook up the other hand, still circle block, see? Hook up, circle block, right? We don't need to do that, just simple circle block, okay? So that's, you got four already, right? Inside, outside, down, circle. 
The fifth one is, let's say, punch your chest, and you, you do this way. This We call this the wing block. So he's coming wing block. So he's coming wing block, right? Both hands in kata is like that. Real fight, fighting situation is like this, right? Both hands straight up. He comes up quick. You go wing block, right? You go wing block, okay? Those are the um, five, uh, four common uh, types of block, okay? Inside, outside. Uh, over the top, circle four, five, okay? Now, if he comes fast at you to your chest uh, and, and, and uh, with both of your hands straight out, you want to react quickly, you go like that, right? We call this a double hand block. So what, whatever that you're gonna touch first, this hand or might be this hand, doesn't matter because he's gonna come too fast. So you wanna put two hands up, okay? And if he goes high, same thing, right? If he goes high, I have two hands up, right? If he goes low, Right, we got two, two hands down. See, two hands down, two hands down. Okay, so all together, those are eight types of block in order for you to be reactive. All right, so, so in the other videos, I mentioned a lot about uh, there are no secret moves in karate, right? There's only depending on how creative you are. All right, at the end of the day, uh, whether you learn karate, um, whatever style, kung fu, uh, even, ground fighting or regular street fighting. It's all boils down to two, two hands and, and two legs. And it's just how you maneuver your body in order to get to your attacker, okay? So remember, uh, let's, let's focus on the first two for now, which is the outside block and the inside block. Now, in reality, if he punches me, see, I, I didn't tell him where to punch. He goes straight to my face. I just do this, which is the inside block, right? Meaning inside my body, inside block, right? Inside block. Now. If you feel, uh, again, my channel is continuous fist, which means is in order to have your attacker uh, to be imbalanced or lose control, you have to keep on attacking. There's no way to win if you just stand there defending the whole entire time, right? You need to attack, right? The, the, uh, the best defense is offense, all right? So if you come, once I touch here, right, uh, you have to, uh, don't, don't go for locks for now. Because locking, look, when, when, when you block like that and you do all the locking stuff, he's going to hit you. He has to hit you in reality. So you want to block and then you go forward, right? So he's punching, block, go forward, right? Block, go forward, right? Or block, right? And go forward, right? You have to go forward. Focus on getting your body in a position where it allows you to go forward to get him down. So now... If he's doing the same thing, this one, if I decided, so inside block, now I do outside block, right? If I go outside block, right? Outside block, same, bum, right? Outside block, same, bum, right? Outside block, same, bum, right? So that's how you want to practice your block, right? Allowing your body uh, not in a rigid stance uh, as in karate, but more of in a naihanshi stance. I really believe in the Nahanchi stance. For those of you who do not know Nahanchi stance, it's basically a regular fighting stance, this way where both of your knees parallel. Now, how parallel do you need to be parallel? In the dojo, your teacher can tell you that it has to be uh, parallel in a way that uh, 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 your knee got to be over your feet. Look, that's just too much, uh, too much to think about, too much in a real fighting situation. You should get into a position where your body should feel um, uh, relaxed, ready for the next position, okay? The key word here is to get in a stance to feel ready, not get in a stance to show your sensei or whoever that, hey, look, I'm, I'm doing it right. When you're in the street, the only way that you're doing it right is at the end of the day, your attack is on the floor and you'll be going home to your family. That's the right way. Okay, so this is the kata for our eight defensive uh, drill move. And you will notice that in the beginning, uh, I'm gonna, going to start out with a block and then followed by the application, okay? I'm gonna do it slow. Uh, so from here, yoi, fighting stance. First one, outside block, outside block, brush, palm, grab, throw, okay? I'm gonna go that angle. All right, next one is up, <laughs> inside block. Pull, down, chop, elbow, break, okay? Grab, throw. Third one. Elbow block, grab break, turn, okay? Fourth one, lower block. Lower block, grab neck, 
and pull. Okay? Fourth one, double block. All right, double block, grab the hand, thrust one, two. Fifth one, high block. High block as in uh, both hands up, grab hand and throw. Okay? Fourth one, as he coming low, block, grab hand into his neck and then thrust to his chest and down. Okay? Okay, here we go. 